guys. So today we're going to be solving questions 40 and 41. And this is from the SAT number 17. And this is the April 2019 QAS test. So let's jump in. Okay. So now we have questions 40 and 41. First thing we need to notice is that this is a paired question, um, which means that we're going to start with the text from 41, basically, and choose one of these first and then come back and answer 40. So 40 says in the passage, Burke displays the greatest respect for which of the following. So we need to look for a text that shows Burke displaying the greatest respect. Let's start. 52 to 56 is down here. That says, whatever they are, I wish my countrymen rather to recommend to our neighbors the example of the British Constitution than to take models from them for the improvement of our own. Um, this is kind of a little bit challenging to understand, this whole paragraph here. But essentially what Burke is saying is that he's recommending to his countrymen meaning, sorry, what he's saying is that he wishes that the British, right, his countrymen, what they would do is recommend the example of the British Constitution to the French as opposed to adopting their improvements as their own. So basically he's saying, instead of looking to the French and trying to do what they're doing and follow their improvements, instead you should be, you should be recommending or sort of advocating for a constitution similar to our own because he's in favor. He thinks the British Constitution is where it's at. I think that's the best thing. Um, what this doesn't do here is tell us anything that Burke displays the greatest respect for. Um, maybe it could be for, for the Constitution, right, implicitly, but it's not really direct. It's not direct um, him sort of praising or giving, giving credit to anything. Um, also, you know, we can scan a little bit and see that he's giving credit to people, leaders, citizens, leaders, voting public, so not to a thing. So I don't think this is a good answer choice. Um, B56 to 59 says, in the former, they have got an invaluable treasure. They are not, I think, without some causes of apprehension and complaint, but these do not owe to their constitution, but to their own conduct. So here what we see Burke saying is basically, the British have an invaluable treasure in their constitution. It's that great. The only thing, um, he, he does admit that there's some causes of apprehension and complaint, which basically means, yeah, there's some things that are wrong, but the things that are wrong are not because of the constitution themselves, but to their own conduct. So basically, any issue that they have is not because of their own constitution, it's just because of their own actions. Again, this doesn't tell us anything or anyone who Burke displays a great respect for us. So I don't think it's very plausible for it to be. C says 64 through 67, which is down here. It says, our people will find employment enough for a truly patriotic, free and independent spirit in guarding what they possess from violation. I would not, I would not exclude alteration neither. So all this is saying is basically that um, basically he's saying to the British that you'll find enough to do just by being um, just by guarding the Constitution and our principles from violation. So basically, yes, it seems like all this activity and energy of the Fran of the French may be interesting, it may be charismatic, it may be attractive, but he's basically saying to the British, you're going to find enough employment to be patriotic to be free, to be independent, if you just focus on guarding the Constitution, right? And then he ends by saying, you know, I, I wouldn't say we, sh we shouldn't exclude it either. Again, there's really nothing about um, Burke respecting anyone here in this passage. So let's go to 81 through 84. Then it says, let us imitate their caution if we wish to deserve their fortune or to retain their bequests. Let us add if we please, but let us persevere what they have left, standing on firm ground. Um, or yeah, it ends here. Let us persevere preserve what they have left. So here, obviously, he's talking about somebody for the first time, and he's definitely speaking in terms that would seem to be respectful, right? Deserve their fortune, retain their bequest, um, let's preserve what they have left, right? A lot of respect being given. So our question is, who is there referring to? And we scroll back, it actually takes a while before we end up to it, we get a bunch of pronouns, until we should end up with right here, which says, a politic caution, a guarded circumspection, a moral rather than a complexion of timidity were among the ruling principles of our forefathers in their most de decided conduct, right? Our forefathers. So here he's talking about our forefathers, and basically these are the people who created the British Constitution, who sort of were, were part of the genesis of that, who developed these principles and established these principles in the Constitution. So this is a good answer choice, and we're going to look for something that would be our forefathers. British voting public, not something that he says that he has immense respect for, right? He's talking about the forefathers, British leaders of past generations. That pretty much seems to be exactly what we're looking for. British citizens who are inspired by the French. No, he's telling us not to be inspired by the French, but to look to the British constitution. Nope. 
And then D says the leaders of France's former government. Nope, he's talking about the leaders of Britain's former government, or at least leaders of past generations. So that's going to be B for our correct answer for 40. And then answer choice D as our correct answer for question 40. Thank you.